Hi everyone, my name is Sienna and this is Sienna Reacts. So today we are going back over older, <laughs> the ones that came out last week. Um, but we are doing the pre-competition competitions and today we have Portugal. So on my channel I do something where I react to both the first place and the second place winner in these pre-qualification competitions and then at the end of the runner-up video I decide who I think should have actually won and who should be representing the country um, it Eurovision it <laughs> at Eurovision um, so Portugal is a little bit different because they had the first place winner and then three different um, performances that tied each other. So I think I'm from that, I'm just going to choose the one that looks the most interesting by the thumbnail and go with that. Or maybe put this one up first and then see if someone else is like, you must try this one. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so for now, we're definitely just going to react to the winner. Um, and it is Maro and it is... Saudade, Saudade. Y'all, I don't, I, I speak English and Chinese. I'm sorry. <laughs> you don't have to tell me a rug. I know it's a rug. Let's leave it there. Um, and so for this on my channel, if the song title is not in English, then I will go and try and find um, lyrics. Um, or like English translations and then um, sometimes I'm able to find like interviews uh, beforehand or maybe like an article about what the song like means and like references. I didn't find it for this one but I did get um, a little translation of the Saudade. Saudade? Um, I did get a little bit of a like explanation of what that means because there's no direct English translation. Um, so I, I have an idea of what the song is going to be about. Um, maybe not for her specific situation, but generally what the song is about. So let's go ahead. Let's get started. Canção número 9. <laughs> saudade, saudade. Oh, so I did not say that right. Okay, let's just keep going. It's fine. Pause. So, um, on my channel, I do pause. If you just want to watch it without hearing me speak, then please just go watch the original. I do have links in the comments. Um, but she has a very... I don't want to say, like, weird, but it's very interesting. And I'm... So like I've I have heard people who kind of sound like this before, um, but like I I always wonder is it just like oh they have a unique voice or is it something like particular to the culture that allows for it I don't know um, I don't know much about Portugal so uh, let me know um, but yeah so far it's like half a stanza <laughs> but so far like I'm really paying attention to her. Her voice. And I know it's no one's fault. Somehow I can't move on. No, you're gone. So that, so that. Nothing more that I can say. Says it in a better way. So 
Sorry, like their their harmonies are actually really really good um to the point that I was like are these I guess I don't I don't know anything about the actual singer so are these like her normal like back I was like is this like a group um are these it, it only says her in the name so I'm like are these like her normal background singers like who she does most of her performances with because they sound like they're very comfortable for each other and even though there's five people doing the harmonies it sounds it sounds really 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 tight also, whoever's on bottom, so good. This song is so uh, okay. So let's let's split it into first things. Let's talk about like the vocals again. I have questions of how often has she worked with the people here or like the other um, like women um, on stage. That is like my first question because again, I think that they sound very comfortable with each other and. The layers are crazy. <laughs> like I, I kind of want to just like go back and like listen like for the harmonies like specifically, um, and then with her, it's like honestly like if I would have just like heard this on like the radio, I would just just think it's kind of like a vocal distortion, like something that they did in production. But to know that she's singing live confuses me. Because I'm like, how is she able to do it? It's it's not even just like, oh, her voice is raspy. It, it legitimately sounds like it's been like lightly distorted. And I'm just like confused. And now I want to know what she sounds like just like speaking. Um, because I'm, I'm sure there are some people that just kind of like sound similar and they're like just like regular speaking voice but then I'm like if she doesn't and she's doing this on purpose I want to know how she's doing it because I I'm like I'm interested like this it's not weird but it's like what what what's happening what um and then for like let's stop there and then like let's talk about a song I thought it's kind of interesting in that um I guess like in the US like the music that we hear that's kind of like melancholic like it, it's split in two right so it's either you get like a very sad song or like very like sad like slow beat belting oh, I want my baby back what something like that right um 
Uh, but then you also have like the other end where it's kind of like a sarcasm, like sarcastic, um, kind of like turn it on its head, like a beat type of song. Um, but this didn't do that. And I'm, I want to, I want to know how it works. Um, cause like, and I guess, again, I don't know much about Portugal. So I don't know much about like the culture or how the music works, but that kind of like the, the, like the clapping rhythm. I don't think, I can't remember like what instrument they use, um, they would use to do that. But is that like a common rhythm? Is that a common instrument to kind of like drive the beat? Because there's no real bass. Like that's kind of like the only percussion. I'm trying to remember. I think that's like one of like the only like percu percussive sounds that they have. Um, and again, it's not something that I'm familiar with. So I think that it's like a really interesting tool to use in like a melody a melancholic type of song um but yeah this is this is like a really interesting choice um I did um see what is it oh, oh gosh I forgot his name but like Pongo um I did see that performance before I saw this because um it was kind of like in the the lead up to the the final they were one of the favorites to win so i was like oh let me check it out and then uh, i'm seeing this now i'm so like this is so like the division is so interesting um i think i may just want to go and see like everyone who made it to the final um and just kind of like watch all of their performances like really so anyway i'm going to end here if you do have any answers to any of my questions i kind of <laughs> like went on a spiel but yeah let me know what you think i think this is it's like both very simple but like the harm like the harmonic layers that they're doing and then like the I don't know. It, it's simple, but it's like very complex. And I'm like, I need to go back and like rewatch this. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think. Um, and I'll see you next time. Okay. So bye bye.